Welcome back everyone and I'm here again with Jeff Grant, SPR contributor, and today we're going to give you a quick look at an against the spread pick for the game between the St. Louis Rams and the Kansas City Chiefs. How are you doing this morning, Jeff? Doing fantastic, Dax. This is a game that I had circled on the calendar during week seven's action, so really look forward if I got the right number in week eight. That's exactly what's happened is I think St. Louis lands in the worst situational spot of any team I've seen this season. Really, man? I mean, last week we saw some pretty cool trick plays from the Rams to actually get that 28 to 26 home victory over the Seahawks. And now even considering that Brett Favre came out talking about how Austin Davis could be potentially an elite quarterback, which I'm kind of guessing that he just said because Davis comes from the University of Southern Mississippi, you know, like the old gunslinger did. Um, I mean, do you actually think that the Rams can keep on building off of that win with Davis under center? I'm glad you covered yourself by saying that they both went to Southern Miss. So <laughs> you definitely have to take that with a grain of salt. But yeah. uh, St. Louis, you mentioned, got a little trickery in Seattle. I don't think they're in the right frame of mind to play that road game, a division road game. Uh, St. Louis obviously came to play, but they've been outgained in their last two games by a triple-digit margin. And the most important thing when handicapping this game is looking at the schedule. They played San, San Francisco on a Monday night. Arguably the biggest game of the season, but that directly followed playing the defending Super Bowl champions, a division opponent. Now they travel on the road to take on Kansas City. What's on deck, Dax? They play at San Francisco and at Arizona, two NFC West opponents. So two division games sandwiched in between with Kansas City sandwiched in between. That's a difficult spot. Yeah, man. Now, we also saw how Kansas City swiped that win last week in the, on the road against the Chargers with a 23-20 score. But considering that they really haven't been producing through the air and mostly relying on the run attack, should betters actually be enthused by that performance? This team's a sleepy contender, I'm telling you. Don't sleep on the Kansas City Chiefs. They've had some injuries, and they've moved past them. That's a sign of a good team. They've also played a difficult schedule to this point. They take care of the football with Alex Smith under center. I know he's not going to win a beauty pageant. That's why Kaepernick, Kaepernick took the job in San Francisco. Yeah. But he's done a great job. Eight touchdowns, a single interception in his last four games. And you mentioned the rushing attack. As long as Jamal Charles is ready to go, which every injury report that I've seen has listed him as probable as he went through the concussion protocol uh, system this week after not going out of the game last week after, I guess, seeing flashing lights and things like that. Yeah. But I think the Kansas City Chiefs are ripe to continue and build off that win against the Chargers. Yeah, plus they do also have uh, Niall Davis just in case. Uh, but any case, uh, what's going to be the, uh, the pick here? Are we going to be taking or are we going to be laying the points? I'm going to lay the points here with the Chiefs. I got six and a half earlier in the week. It's seven in the market now, so definitely I feel comfortable on staying on that key number. Any more than that, definitely uh, bet at your own risk, but I feel comfortable in laying a touchdown in this game. The run defense for St. Louis ranks 28th in the NFL, allowing 145 rushing yards per game, 4.8 per carry. And the Rams really built their reputation over the years and have drafted on the defensive line to get after the quarterback. They simply haven't done that. So I'm going to look for the Chiefs to win by 10 to 14 points over the Rams in Week 8. All right, good stuff, Jeff. As always, my man, it's a pleasure talking football with you, and I look forward to doing this again next Monday, man. Thank you. No problem. For SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year-round a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.